And for the MC fan, Harry is your flag with the Michael Billy. I can remember you might say me. 13 years in service, four tours. Cowboy flag, Mango Adelaide, USMC. Pow Wow is a social. That's where we can all get together and do what we're doing here. Get together with old friends that we uh, hadn't seen in a long time. And also to meet new friends. And as well as um, uh, maybe, hopefully, prayerfully, that we could cross paths with those who used to be our friends so that they could become our friends once again. Most important about this uh, a powwow culture is that we get to come together and we get to be together and share with each other our history, our traditions, our songs, our dance, and uh, the beauty of the spirituality behind it. Uh, and it gives us the opportunity to, to preserve these traditions, our culture, our history, and pass on down to our children and grandchildren and, and from generation to generation. Many of these songs uh, and dances, they developed centuries back, yeah. so there's a lot of history there, and uh, it's, a, it's a good opportunity for people to come and see this and uh, be a part of it. It's my first opportunity to actually enjoy the festivities, and it's, it's really nice. I mean, it's something very unique. It's a, a nice sharing in terms of culture. Um, I mean, it's, it's really, really great. So I'm having a good time so far. Oh, this is great. Uh, there's so many different type of tribes or uh, nations, and this, this. Uh, uh, they're only doing like the piñata there, almost, it's almost, they're doing it in the honor of a young man, a young boy who's, I guess, coming up of age, it's something similar to ours, quinceañera. One other thing I noticed is there's a lot of uh, military veterans among the Native Americans, and they're very proud of it. And, Seeing the flags there, seeing the uh, Marine in uniform carrying the flag, uh, it's inspirational. My son is nine years old and he's dancing and I like having and bringing him to Powell's so he can continue to dance and he can be brought up that way in his culture. Every year it gets better and a lot more people come and, and it's and this is a friendship powwow for everybody so we'd like to see our community come out and enjoy this event and they can learn a lot about the Native Americans by attending. actually uh, my first powwow and if you can hear in the background like the drummers are very awesome I love the way they're singing uh, my first dance ritual too just coming into the ceremony the prayer I believe everything about it it was just an amazing experience I met the princess too Sandima they're very nice Doing this for 18 years, ever since I started, and I knew Robert Canada is a great man. As far as I'm concerned, he's a people people, and that's made him what he is, what he was, and probably still is, and left that inspiration with his family. And I think the city of Hawaiian Gardens has gone way on behind their means to continue this event that he's that he started.
being the head dancer is you lead out the dancers. You're um, the first one out to dance, so this way that, that encourages everybody else to come out and dance right along with you. And um, just to make sure everybody dances and have a good time, make sure everything runs smoothie. And it's a, it's a real honor to, to be asked as a head dancer on the staff. The, the one thing we always say about this arena that it's a very welcoming arena that it, you invite uh, different people and different uh, cultures you know we always try to encourage other people to come and share and learn and understand because that teaches respect and tolerance towards each other It's healing. It, it, a lot of it, people pray while they're dancing and pray for their sick ones and their loved ones back home or you know wherever they're at. And they dance for their, the people that cannot dance for themselves. Thank you to the Hawaiian Gardens uh, City Council and for their support uh, on these cultural events and to promote our Native American culture.